point I felt somebody standing right here. Hello, someone is here with us. And messing with our camera. Still not okay. Now that porcelain doll in that room, that's mm -hmm. not my doll. That was somebody that I you just heard a knock out there. Yeah, I can you turn the flashlight off if you want to? Oh. I know there's something in the basement. Right. My daughter knows that she's creeped right out. She knows a little more than we would like to know. We think there's something. Mm -hmm. She's below that little apartment. We are the first paranormal team to be allowed in this apartment to investigate this floor. Yes. Ow. Oh my god. I have okay? pain in my back. Okay, I want to leave. But there's definitely a mark, girl. You're I'm gonna try and keep this all in um, chronological order. Thank you. Yeah, we we have not slept in like a day and a half, um, almost two days now. So the brains aren't functioning quite as well as they normally do. So sorry if we seem a little like loopy or like mm -hmm. not as with it. 1:35 in the morning. So basically 24 hours ago. <laughs> Crazy to think about. Mm -hmm. um, we <laughs> <laughs> we decided that we were gonna try and go to sleep, and so um, I had gone and laid down in like the little room in here. There you go. I just heard like shuffling. Um, and I, I was laying on my side and my back was not fully pressed against the back of the day bed. Um, I had like space behind me and I was sleeping on the edge of the bed and I felt a compression in the mattress behind me, um, almost as if someone was laying down behind me to like big spoon me. And that was really freaky. And then I heard like a clink, clink, clink. I was like, what? And I, and I look up and there's a light with a ceiling fan on it, but the ceiling fan was not turned on and the light was not on. I was in the dark. And I look up and like the little pull cord to turn the fan on or the light on was like, just like jiggling. And I was like, did that just move? And now I'm like alert in bed. And I'm looking at this thing and it starts doing like a circle kind of like a pendulum and I was like like my heart started racing and then the thing that freaked me out that sent me over the edge so it's circling like this and then it just goes like completely diagonal and is just st like like a stick completely straight completely still and I was like okay no but then I was so scared and I wanted to leave, but I felt like I couldn't leave. I felt like I couldn't leave the room. Um, and I was also nervous that I was gonna bump into someone in the hallway. Someone that's not Jen, like like mm -hmm. a spirit. So it's like, what's scarier? You like, heard creaking in the hallway too. Oh yes, that's, that's true. Why so was coming down the while hall. this was happening, there was like footsteps coming towards my room that I was in. It was you, you squeaked oh, the couch. Oh, sorry, I'm all freaked out. I, I like felt that happening and I'm like, what's worse? Like seeing this or like, what, like who's gonna come around the corner and then what if I get out and then I bump into this person and I couldn't get to Jen and I was calling for her and she couldn't hear me and I was texting her and she couldn't get my texts until I actually showed up here, Yeah, which was weird. Yeah, I had just fallen asleep and then she comes in with her pillow and her blanket and I was kind of shocked because you were very like gung-ho about sleeping alone. Yeah, like I was like, I got this, like I'm gonna have an experience. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and then you, you just came in and I was like, huh? And you were like, I can't do it. And I was like, what? You're like, I can't do it. I'm going to sleep in here. And that scared me because, like, you what happened me. to you that yeah. you can't sleep in there? Jen? In that previous clip with Alice texting, she's actually texting me to tell me everything that's going on and that she was afraid, and she sent me a photo of the fan while it was behaving oddly. When she came out to tell me she couldn't sleep in there any longer, I checked my phone and my messaging app crashed multiple times. I had to restart my phone, and when I went to check my messages, there was an exclamation point where my notifications should be. When I opened it up, there were all her messages, but to this day, I still have not received the photo of the fan. Um, just kind of like laid on the ground on some couch cushions next to me. Yeah! The fact that I would rather do that and sleep than be in that room, I think speaks volumes. Um, but I asked for an experience and I got one. So that, that wasn't anyone doing me wrong. Um, I did ask to have an experience but I just wasn't expecting to get so freaked out about it. And then that, that helplessness was like really getting to me in my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right before the chain in Alice's room began to swing, I got a strong sense that someone was standing behind me while I was laying on the couch. I checked twice to make sure nobody was there. And less than three minutes later, Alice's chain began to swing. We had like the lights on in here and we just had a little slumber party. Um, yeah, we had the lights on and the TV going all night. So we couldn't hear as many creaks and cricks because... Which was good because like when I, I woke up a lot of, like I was up a lot. Yeah. So at least I could like watch the TV and like, if it was just dead quiet in here, it would have been beautiful. Yeah. And I look back on like the static cam and it's funny because like, I'll sit up and kind of like look around or whatever, then I'll lie back down and fall asleep and then you'll sit up and look around kind of and then you fall back asleep and then I do it. Yeah. Interesting. It's like we were we were naturally taking shifts. Yeah. <laughs> 2.20, so very shortly after that, there was like shuffling footsteps going down the hallway and the floorboards creaking. That's something that we hear day, day and night mm -hmm. here. Um, there was like a small black shadow orb that like darted across the kitchen from one side to the other, kind of going into the hallway. And when when we're in the living room here, where it, which is where we were sleeping and everything, we were like looking out into the kitchen. So we kept seeing shit in the kitchen. And that was definitely something I was like, oh my God, like I've never seen anything like that. And I call it an orb because it was kind Roundish? of- Roundish? Roundish-ish, yeah. You must have fallen asleep because shortly after that, I woke up. <laughs> And I saw in the kitchen, I saw, you know when you've got like crystals or something like hanging in a window and they cast a, like a round. Do you hear that? Like, you It'll like cast like a round rainbow kind of like shimmer or something on your wall. So I looked in the kitchen and saw that go across but it was like black and it was dark in there. 
So mm -hmm. that's nothing would have caused that that I can explain. Yeah. And then right after that, I saw the that same black thing you saw mm -hmm. across the kitchen. Seems low to the ground. Seems like a pet. Mm -hmm. An animal. And we have been told that there are two dogs and three cats here. Non-living. Sorry, yes, in the spirit realm. Yeah. I I heard like a bunch of tapping on the window, but it wasn't like tap, tap, tap. It was like, and it was on this window here. And I was kind of half awake, half asleep. And it, I knew it was raining out, but it didn't sound like rain. And I heard it and I was like, what is that? And then I hadn't opened my eyes yet. And then I opened my eyes and sat up really quick to see what it was. And it stopped like immediately. The tapping? Yeah. Like a instant stop. What? And I never made that sound again. seven or eight in the morning. Once I laid back down in the little bed, I felt, so I, I was in the same position as I was the first time I laid down in there, but I felt like a, like a comforting, someone just like rubbing my arm, like comforting me, almost like, sorry for scaring you last night, we thought that's what you wanted. <laughs> you told us you wanted us to do that, and like, now we feel bad because you got really scared. And then someone held my hand and they actually like held my hand until I fell asleep. <laughs> that was paranormal, but like very nice. Um, and, and I ended up getting like a really restful sleep. But then around 10 in the morning, so just a couple hours after that, it, right in my ear, I heard, hey, hey. And then I was like, what? And then the, the exact same thing happened a second time as I was like more awake. It was almost like like a loop. Like like if someone were to record their voice saying it and played it again. Like it was like the same tone of voice, same amount of pause in between. I heard a click over here just now. He's been in the kitchen. Yeah. This is around like 4 a.m. maybe. I fell asleep and I woke up with sleep paralysis, which sucks. I hate when that happens. It hasn't happened in a long time. You only try to like will something to happen. I was trying to will Alice to wake me up, which she didn't, and I finally snapped out of it. And then I was I have to force myself to stay awake for a while after that, because if I fall right back asleep, it'll happen again. Mm. And again and again. How awful. Ugh. Also consistently, like yesterday and today, a lot of the time when you're walking from one of the bedrooms at the opposite end of the unit towards the main living space over here, you feel like someone's like right behind you down the hallway and you can often hear footsteps behind you too. My name is Alice and I'm a recovering perfectionist. <laughs> It feels oh, no. like you have to like really hit, beat it up. Okay, we got all the things set up. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, yeah. Okay, right into that please. Bag, like, <laughs> They're like, yeah. Hello. It was focused like this whole time. Hello. Someone is here with us. Someone's ringing that bell. And messing with our camera. It's still not focusing? No. Uh, the light just turned off. Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> the bell. Was that you? Is there someone here with us right now? Can you turn the mag light off now? Can you Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. It is not focusing for shit. I'm so sorry, everybody. Well, there's probably a reason for that. Yes. Okay, 
you turn that flashlight on one more time, the mag light in the chair over there? That sounds like a yes. That sounds like you're trying. I'll give it to you for trying. That's, I appreciate that. Um, we also have the cat balls here, if you want to mess with the cat balls. <laughs> wow, look at that. So, we got the, the REM pod in the door. Oh my god, oh. <gasps> scared the shit out of me. And started with an investigation. Oh, cool. I think you're the right time. Yeah, we're still in the middle. Anyhow, this one down? I heard the bell. Was the bell going off? Oh, yes. You can hear it every time. Just to know. Why not? You can hear a little ding, and of course, I knew you had a bell. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have wondered what it was. Yeah. But yeah, you can hear it just outside the door. And then we have the light set up there, and it was going on and off. Oh, yeah. And then when you knocked, we jumped, right? So then Alice went to go let you in, and I was like, did you know Brenda was coming? And it dinged, and then that turned on. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they knew I was coming out the stairs. Yeah, yeah, they knew! Yeah. So like interesting. Just a lot of little yes. things, right? Yes. Strange little things. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hello, yeah. Strange little things. <laughs> we, we like it. We do like it, and, and, and we welcome it, even though it freaks us out. Like We, yeah. we do appreciate you um, showing us that you're here and, and spending time with us. So yeah, thank they like you for that. too, you notice. Yeah, yeah the, the they're really enjoying yeah. that. Yeah, they do. You know, if people ask me, some will say, well, I want to book one of them. Which one should I book for mm -hmm. YouTube? Like, they want. Yeah. They need content. Let's yeah. put it that way. And so my answer is always, well, they both active, but go for 302. Mm -hmm. Because, okay. the, yeah. you know, I can not guarantee it a little more, but it's just... Yeah, it's more likely. It's very more likely, likely yeah. than this one, because I would hate for them to get nothing. Mm -hmm. It can happen, but um, your camera just shut off. <laughs> the light died, yeah. Oh, can you turn the light off on her? Oh. <laughs> and did you too? <laughs> that light just flashed. Did it? Oh, okay. Yes. That's okay. Um, the the din is is cozy. And then what's the story with the doll over there? Oh yeah, we were hearing the, the doll, doll in three hundred two. Is there a doll in, in three hundred two? That's like the one that supposedly moves. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? in the green room, green yeah. doll. Yes, yes. With um, the tiara, with the or yeah, whatever. It's yeah, it's tiara. Um. Well, it. I just put her there because people creeped out by dolls, so I yeah. put a few dolls out. Yeah. There. And uh, so there was a, two couples came, and I think one of them was moving it, because since we've had uh, investigators put cameras on her all night and everything, and she just does not move. Mm. Right. But they insist she moved. They went. They left to go out, and the doll was in, on the dresser in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. When they came back, she was in the dining room on the table in the dining room. Okay. So they were all freaked out. They left her there. They went out again. When they came back, they weren't investigators. When they came back, she was in the red room. So I said to them, when they told me, and I said, well, you know, we pretty sure she doesn't run around like Chucky. Yeah. Right, yeah. You know, um, <laughs> is she, she's not heavy. She's a plastic doll, like this bride one. So she's not heavy. Yeah. Um, but so this one isn't, she's not heavy, but can she? Can they carry her around? Like, you always wonder how much strength they have exactly. to move yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. We know spirits do move things, but mm -hmm. they got to have a lot of energy to do it. And are they going to waste their energy on that? Right. right. I personally, but they insist <laughs> this doll moved around. You will move. Well, okay. <laughs> you move a doll. And, um, but they insist it happened. I personally think, last one out, they're chatting away in the hallway, and yeah. the last one out moves it all. Right. No, we right. I could be wrong, but we have yet to see. We'll never her know. Room. No, we'll not never yet. Know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you agreeing with me or disagreeing? That's a hard one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, never say never, but for it to never it's happen. It's like, yep, never say never. <laughs> yeah. so for it to never happen a second time. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Now, that porcelain doll in that room, that's mm -hmm. not my doll. On the, the others are my dolls. Like on the nightstand? Yeah, I'll, yeah. Yes, yeah. against the wall. Yeah, I, I can get her. a green dress or yes. blue or something, yes. but she's a porcelain doll. Yeah. She's not my doll. The other doll, all the other dolls in are my dolls. I've had them for years. Okay. That one somebody left. I, I don't just heard know a knock out yeah, there. Okay. That one somebody left. I, I just don't just heard know a knock out there. Yeah, I heard a knock out there. 
Uh, sorry. We, we just heard knocking out there. And the light just turned on and off. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. Is it your door knocking? No. no. I think it was, it was someone else. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, it was Horace. Maybe Horace is joining in and knocking. <laughs> um, and then when I got up and, and I said, oh, somebody forgot their doll. My first instinct was to take it out of me. It's not my doll. I don't know where this doll came from. Right. It could be possessed from all. I need a way. Yeah, right, yeah. Horse, and then yeah. I went, no, maybe I left it for a reason. Maybe they didn't forget it. Maybe they left it because she needs to be here or something. Yeah. So I put it back and I said, I'll leave it. So then some guests say that dog moves around the room. Okay. Interesting. And tell good stories? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're true. I wonder if we can are. do it. Can you, okay, let's see who's with us. Charles, are you with us right now? Is Charles here? What about Amelia? Amelia, are you here right now? What about Horace? Horace, are you here right now? <laughs> no, of course not. Let the bell go. Okay, who else we got? Uh, Mary, is Mary here? Oh my gosh, it hasn't been off for this long. No, it hasn't. Well, because we haven't guessed the right name yet. We have? Na can, can you name some people? Yeah. <laughs> How much do we have? Uh, we have, we'll go down the list. Levine, are you with us? Because it seems like nobody is. Yeah. Jake? Charlie? Uh, Walter? The baby is, um, um, Adam. Is his nickname? Adam. And then Bill? This is bizarre. Emily and Alfred. Okay. So and they're not. Oh, are you here, Alfred? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. we have Alfred. How's your daughter doing? She doing good. His daughter's a famous flamingo dancer. Wow. Oh, yes. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of names to, to keep track of. I feel like we need to make a little list. I we know, should so. actually. We really yeah, should. Yeah, they're going, yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah, Ellen's on nine. Mm -hmm. And uh, her brother, Daryl, I think is it, which is kind of a common. Whoa, that's bright. Very yeah, bright. Yeah, that's a very, um, more, a bit more modern name, too. Yeah. Not like Deacon, you know. Yeah. Um, and then the two little ones we don't know. So okay. know their name. Can you so. turn the flashlight off if you want to? Oh, talk to us. <laughs> You're not doing your own things. Yeah. Thank is, you, Alfred. Is Alfred still you with us? You participated in our little, uh, our our little uh, episode there. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Alfred. Yeah. Can, can we turn the light on if Alfred is still with us, please? Oh, that just lit up. Yeah, that's... Oh, interesting. That's not what I'm doing it now. Just slightly. Does anybody want to ring the bell? Oh. <laughs> there, I thought it was dead. It's not dead. Yes. So, wow. Okay, so how many are here then that you know of? How many spirits? That I like know six? of is the 11 who backs. All the backs. Then you got Horace is 12. You got Beverly, who's another one, is 13. You got five kids, whatever. And then... There, there are more. There's Tom. There's um, Finn. No, he's looking for his wife, Finn, who was murdered in the field. He doesn't say a lot. He just keeps repeating himself. We think he's uh, residual. Okay. Because he just keeps going on the same thing, and he doesn't change his story. It's a uh, he's, he's with Anna. For her. Anna is an A, too. So Tom is with Anna. Tom think, says he's a back. I can't find anything. <laughs> I know, and I, but I can't find anything. <laughs> he hangs out in 302, generally. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... He's very upset and sad because he's looking for his wife, Finn, who got murdered in the field next door. Mm. Okay. Wow. That's the same story. That's all we get. There's a okay. lot of people. That's a lot, yeah. yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, is, is, does anybody smoke, like, on the porch outside? Just me. Okay. No, that's... Are you getting... Because, well, when I went out today... What time was that? Like, 12? Uh, uh, as soon as I opened the door... 12 and 1. For the stairs. 
I could smell smoke, but not like fire smoke, like cigarette smoke. Mm -hmm. Inside. For ours, it's usually pipe or or, or, or um, I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 probably pipe. Yeah. <laughs> it's going yep. Charles' <laughs> go-to is just pipe. He will do cigar. Yeah, I wouldn't know the, the difference. The odd times, see people will get cigarettes, and it's like, well, maybe he's having a cigarette. They're, they right. were around. Yeah, but, but once again, it, was it a drug house or a, you know or brothel? It could be mm -hmm. any kind of cigarettes, right? That's yeah. true. Do it again so I can get it on. Okay. Um. So okay. Nothing. Here, here we are. Nothing. Nothing. A no, little, little bit of green. Nothing. 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 A yeah. little bit. Little spike. But then this whole side of the bed. It's as if there were someone laying here. <laughs> It's interesting that when you move up, then it's like it goes to nothing. Yeah. So it's like they're here. Yeah. Maybe someone shorter or younger or smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And nothing over here. Wow. And something, yeah. On that yeah. side was green too, a little bit here, but just green. Right? Yeah. It's not even like lighting this one up. Oh, that's oh, weird. I didn't even notice one, that. And then that one. I oh, you're right. Oh, there. No. That's weird. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I just, when I kept looking, I just thinking that's the first green one. You're not yeah. really thinking. It's like yeah. dimmer than the rest. It wasn't like that before. No. And this is now interesting. It's out. This now is it's back. Because <laughs> Can I try it over here again? Unless your batteries are going. The batteries last forever in that thing. Yes. It's not really a change it's the no, battery kind of thing. No. But oh. now, like, lift it up. Because, like, when I lifted it up, it was nothing. Oh. Hmm. It's like it's changing. Now they're Because it was very roll? clearly just mm -hmm. here over, and now it's changing. Well, now I'm just going to explore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it was doing that down here the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to see the where corner. the line is. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's like here over. In the middle, kind of. Yeah. I wonder when Mary left. Mary left and Charles was upset. That was somebody's. That was weird. It. My hair felt like. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just sitting here, and I, my, my hair felt weird, but I didn't really register it. And then when I turned to look at you, it was almost like it was like this, and it felt fine. And, but that felt fine like this, but then when I turned to look at you, it like pulled it. Wow! You know what I mean? It felt like a little bit of a pull. And uh, right here was where I felt like somebody earlier. True. Like somebody leaning over you while you were sleeping. What I was going to ask oh. was, I wonder if when Mary left, we know that Charles was understandably like a little upset because of, or really upset, because he had to take on the responsibility of both parents with all those kids. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the treatment of the children changed. Mm. What was the experience in the home like for everyone after that, after Mary left? Mm -hmm. No one really talks. This is the hallway on the first floor where the photo of the unknown man beside Brenda was caught. 
This is just outside of the first floor apartment that we visited last night and directly above where the entity in the basement is thought to reside. Okay, Paranormies, so we are here on, or <laughs> we've already got the equipment set up. We are on the first floor, and this is the first floor apartment, and huge shout out to Brenda, the owner of this wonderful home. <laughs> They're showing her out too on yeah. the death bell. <laughs> uh, we are the first paranormal team to be allowed in this apartment to investigate this floor. Yes! <laughs> big win, big win! Yeah, so... <laughs> Nobody is currently living in this space, and so Brenda was nice enough to let us have free roam of this little apartment. And so this area here that we are in is a small apartment now. It was converted, but when this house, in its original days, um, when it wasn't broken up into m many walls and apartments, this was the heart of the home, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so not only has nobody been here to investigate the original kitchen but on top of that we are standing above an area in the basement where nobody is currently allowed to investigate where there is some unknown more menacing activity mm -hmm. we are right above that right now pretty much as close as you can possibly get without being in it <laughs> and voices have been heard coming through the floor and mm -hmm. calling names and all that jazz so we are here right now to investigate this room for you for everybody because this is the first time Let's take a tour, shall we? So this is the living room of the apartment. So here we have the bedroom. I'm stepping over the REM pod here. So one of the reasons why I put the REM pod here is because Brenda's daughter said that she has seen people, or no, it wasn't Brenda's daughter, it was the tenant before Brenda's daughter, said that when her, when the bed was facing this way oh, instead yeah. of this way, she would see shadows walking past the doorway here. So I want to see if we can pick up on anyone walking past. Now you can see here there's a step here, and this actually used to be the step at the outside door. So this was the original exit to the house. Okay. So the kitchen would have been right there. And then this is an addition. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm just kicking everything around. So let's do an EVP session first. Uh, a ding on the dead bell is a yes. Um, no ding is a no answer or a no. Mm -hmm. um, it can also just mean confirmation or validation. Yes, like an agree an agreement. Mm -hmm. Ding, yep. <laughs> Multiple dings, ding, 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 ding. Super yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn the mag light on. Here, can I give this to you for a sec? They like the mag light. And I'm going to set it up here, give them their own chair. Anyone wants to join us and sit in the chair? Oh yeah, pull up a chair and hang out with us. Okay, so like before, I'm going to put this little black machine right here. It can hear you better than we can. Um, so if there's anything you want to say, or if you want to light up that light and come nice and close to the light and the recorder, we'll be able to hear you. How many spirits are here with us now? Or is there anybody here with us right now? Okay. Would you be able to tell us your name? Thank you. Is the Russian cook here with us? Is someone who is not a part of the Beck family here? Oh, 
track over there. Crack over there. My glide's on, eh? It's on. Yep. Okay, awesome. That's kind of how hard it I, I had it on last. Yeah, they're really wanting to interact with that. Maybe that's just easier. Do you want to do like a yes, turn the light on, no, don't touch the light thing? Yeah, yeah we can try that. Cool. If there's anybody with us right now, can you please turn on the mag light so we know you're here? The little flashlight on the chair. If you can turn that on so we know you're here. Or ring the bell. <laughs> oh, I barely got that out of my mouth. Is the bell easier to ring than turning the light on? Is that easier to do? Yeah? Yeah. Do you like the bell because it reminds you of the time you're from? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause everything else is technology, right? That just flashed. Yeah, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Everything else is technology you're not familiar with, probably, but the bell, that was the round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why we got that bell. For people like you. Have you ever been interviewed by a paranormal investigator before? Maybe we should say, have you ever been investigated by a paranormal <laughs> investigator before? And this response makes sense because we're the first people to investigate this unit. True, that just, that just flashed. flashed. Yeah. Are you comfortable talking to us? Okay, well, I'm gonna turn on an app. I'm gonna turn on the Spirit Talker because there's been other paranormal investigators that have gotten very intelligent responses with that. I'm not a huge fan of this. I feel like it says a lot of things that are very generic, like haunted phrases, but we're going to give it a go anyway, because if they're specific things, <laughs> you know, you never know. So that's going. I also want to turn the SB11 back on. Do you mean harm? No, we absolutely we mean you no harm. We are here with these cameras and everything because we are trying to give you a voice and give you the opportunity to tell your story and have us get to know you. As far as we know of the afterlife, it will not do harm to you. Mm -hmm. What it does oh, is it helps. a cold breeze. Really cold breeze. Are you feeling that? No. It helps us is what it does. It's like all over the left side of my body, which is why I'm surprised that you're not feeling it because no. you are on my left. Oh. Like literally like this half of my face, this leg. Mm. It's still happening. Are you here on the couch with us? Whoa, it's like really intense. I don't feel anything. Hmm. hmm. He has his eye on you. Yeah. Who has their eye on us? Can you tell us who you're referring to? Is it Charles? Where is he? Why does he have his eye on us? 
mean, it could be referring to the basement. Yeah. Surely it's dark down there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't go down there. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Paranormies, are you seeing this? Yeah, that's what it is. Why shouldn't we go down there? We're not going to go down there. So you're going to have to Oh yeah. Good, good we're, point. We're not going to go down there. We are not going down there. We are respecting that. But out of curiosity, why do you say that? Mm -hmm. my breath like no it's it's bigger than that mm -hmm. okay, well, I'm on the SF. Mm -hmm. there hasn't been one thing that's come out of that since we turned it on hey. I did something bad I did something bad Hmm. What did you do? Is it Charles? Are we talking to Charles? Yeah. Oh, hi, Charles. Are you talking about what happened with Mary? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Do you ever feel feel bad about that? Is that feeling like it was a little bit petty in your life? In your living years I'm not I'm not, not judging you <laughs> yeah have you been able to make peace with Mary since then we've heard that she's in this house too I know it must have been very difficult for you losing your beautiful wife Amelia Reginald Jeremiah. Is there a Jeremiah with us? Mm -hmm. She died. Who died? Who are we? Who is it that we're talking about? Who died? Are we talking about Mary? Can you tell us? <laughs> Can you tell us that? <laughs> Can you tell us the name of who is with us right now? coming through the spirit box. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us in the spirit box how many spirits are residing in this home or on this property? Thank you. Did you it? Yeah. Flames. Was there ever a fire here? Was this place a boarding house? Or a boarding house? <laughs> Were there ladies of the night here before?
Are we sitting in the kitchen right now? Is this the kitchen? That's a yes. Are you able to go close to the REM pod over there and light it up? Oh, yay! I'm in my 20s, okay. Are you able to light up the REM pod over there? I know you did this light and I appreciate that. Is there any way to use this energy over here? Yeah, look at that thing. I'm just gonna like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that light went out. This is the REM pod here, so if you want to touch it, or go really close to it, you can make it light up and make fun sounds. It is loud, it is annoying, but if you could just do it for a second, that would be awesome. Nineteen sixty. Interesting. I wonder what year that addition was put on to the kitchen. Mm, Oh, maybe the 50s. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Well, she said maybe the 50s. 50s. Yeah. We should go back yeah. and look and listen. Yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, I think Andy taught me that hello in Russian is Pivet. <laughs> Do we have a Russian cook here with us? I know it might be frustrating. We may not be able to hear you right away, but please keep talking to us because we will likely hear it later with headphones on. That's French, yeah. Kind of sounded like look in French. Where should we be looking? Can you see us? If you can see us, what color hair do we both have? That's super that sounded like blonde. Is it? Yeah. I, think I just heard blonde. Sid is the name of the old caretaker at the opera house where Alice's haunted salon is located. He has passed away many years ago, but his name comes up all the time when we investigate at the salon. You can tell by the looks on our faces that our interest is piqued getting that name here at this location. That's super that sounded interesting. like blonde. Is it? Yeah. I, think I just heard blonde. I feel something right here. I heard hey you or angel. Feels like something behind me. I don't like it. I was sound laughing. like laughing. Can you please and get out? Said laugh. Get out of my personal space here. I don't. I'm uncomfortable with that. Did I leave? I don't know. It kind of sounded like that. It was either like leave or hee hee. Yeah, a little bit. That was a weird sound. Yeah. I heard haha. Can you take this 
heard another weird sound. Mm -hmm. Go. The lights is turned off. It almost sounds like a xylophone or something. Take a weird turn. It was like everything was fine. Suddenly the energy shifted. Yeah. It started to feel pretty chaotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't even sit back down. No, I'm not. No, I can't. I can't sit there. Let's see how these turn out. That just Ooh, the light just on turned on. As I picked up this picture of it. Oh, interesting. Oh my gosh. Not sure, like, well, I don't know, it's still developing, so let's just mm -hmm. give it a minute. That got freaking crazy at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's just packing this up. <laughs> it's wild. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely a different energy in this room. There's definitely a different energy in this space. There wasn't at first. No, something, and it got colder. It, it feels yes. Cool air now. Yes, I was progressively feeling that cold breeze I was talking about, like stronger and stronger. And then by the end, it got really cold. Like it's still very cold. Um, it was almost like whatever that was isn't here all the time in this room, but they happen to show up for the session. Yeah. Whew, just another night in the back house. Ooh, focus. Come on. You won't focus on this camera either. Oh, oh. Are you okay? pain in my back. Really? Oh, like something friggin' po poked me. Can I, can I look at your back? Whoa, that was weird. I've what? never felt that in my life. What was it like? What happened? Like this, like in my back. Ooh. Oh. Somebody oh. really hard. Okay, I wanna leave. Okay, yep. Yep, that's enough of that. Oh. I'm gonna take this I can still really feel that. That was I've never felt that in my life. You're like, I'm out. Yep. Yep, this was wild. Okay, we should probably say something before we go upstairs. Alice and I are stating our own personalized statement and cutting all of our cords, anything that may be attached to us or following us from that room is being instructed to leave us alone and no longer come close to us for the rest of our stay. This is a very personal ritual that Alice and I do after we are finished at an investigation and leave an area and we like to keep that between the two of us but we always take a few minutes after every investigation darker ones in particular to ensure our safety so mode it freaking b Really? That's what I did the last time we got here. Jesus. 
Whoa, it has never slammed like that. It normally shuts slow. What is happening? It just slammed pretty hard. Like, it was like someone was on the other side of the door, Jen, just like... Yeah, that's what it was like when I, when I opened it to come in. Things are ramping up as the night grows older. Okay, so can, can I just take a look at it? Okay, let me check for any redness. Oh, you actually are a little bit pink right here. Right here. Yeah, that's where it was. And it's actually where it was? Yeah, like it was like right here. Okay. It's, wow. Um, I'm gonna show you this, Jen, so you can see it after. But it's really interesting how there's like, everything looks normal. It's this faint pink kind of circular area probably presumably less of a circle because it's under the black tattoos here, but there's definitely a mark, girl. Hey, okay, I don't want to say it down there. Yeah? But, like I told you, it felt like a poke, but it, what I saw in my head was like, I bent over to grab something and it was like somebody went like this, with like something sharp, like a nail. What? Like a, like a hammer and nail or something, like right in so my not, back. So not like a nail? No. But it was like right when I bent down, it was like somebody took, it, took that moment to be like, a, Oh my I gosh. I didn't want to say anything down. I just want to get out of there. Yeah. It's gone now. Yeah. I, I but agree. But I can still like feel what it felt like and that was not fun because it wasn't like, oh. it was like deep. It wasn't like a scratch on the surface. It was like in my muscle. Ooh. Oh, I, I hate that. It. I'm so sorry that happened. I had a really strong urge to go outside and put my bare feet on the ground to ground myself and completely disconnect myself from what had just happened. We also did a smoke cleansing on the both of us before we went back into the house. And that they're talking about some type of yeah. spirit <laughs> in the basement or something that yeah, they're the likes. they're the ones that push on that spirit. They? They've never been to the basement because mm -hmm. people don't go to the basement. But the first people went, so there are maybe one or two videos where the they got to go through the basement. Right. Mm -hmm. So they just keep telling me there's something in the basement. I know there's something in the basement. Right. I did see the, near the beginning there where people went down, an Edwardian lady on the film who was taking pictures of two, two right together, and she was slightly moved. And then in um, the back, where they're the only people that ever saw the back, um, would be the creepier part of the basement. Not they. Uh, that's where they, we think there's something, mm -hmm. which is below that little apartment. Right, right. interesting. My daughter hears, <laughs> yeah. sometimes the uh, voice is coming out of the floor. Mm -hmm. that so that creeps her out. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah, so We're not sure who it is. Mm -hmm. My daughter knows that she's creeped right out because she knows a little more than we would like to know. Mm -hmm. um, she has this whole Eladon story. And it's, you know, it's a story in itself, um, and creepy, very creepy. Um, you know, we're trying to decide where the well was, or was it an indoor in the basement, because a kid drowned in the well, and, right. you know, yeah, we got, mm, mm. and Ella Dawn approached her, and she was, went out when she was talking to this little girl at your house, and she was all excited, and she was cute, she was carrying a doll, and, mm -hmm. and then she became not cute. Mm. She was running and playing and say, oh, she's in where your dining room was and she's running and playing with the other kids and she could see all this happening. Yeah. And then one day after probably like a year, she came to Houston and she was, showed herself dead. Okay. Mm. She was drowned. Right. She was gray. Yeah. And she was going, standing in front of a, bla a doorway that was black. So you couldn't mm. see past that black doorway going like this. Oh. And like, never again. So she didn't talk to her for years. So she said, it's not, it's not a little girl, you know? Right. Well, she doesn't this. even think it's actually a little she girl. She thinks it's not a little girl. Yeah. I, I think part of me doesn't know if I want to know. I'm yeah. very curious to see, like, if when we do investigate the apartment on the first floor, if we might be able to pick up on anything that is below there, mm -hmm. because it's 
not that far from it, right? Yeah, it's right below. So the yeah. energy could still be able to yeah. come up and communicate with yeah. us. After I got back home and started editing the video, I looked deeper into the family, looking for names and dates, names of extended family members, so I could try and connect some of the things we received during the spirit box sessions. One bit of information that I found was that the museum, which, if you remember, was Charles's general store, is also haunted, and that there is a spirit that resides there and tends to float between there and the house. This is a spirit of a soldier, whose name is also Charles, but his last name is unknown. The lady I spoke with about this is a medium, and I got a photo of this soldier from her. She said that when the soldier is present, you will feel an extreme sharp pain in your back. As you can imagine, when I heard this information, I was mind blown. But then when I saw the photo of him, all I could see was the similarities between his face and the face of the man that was seen beside Brenda, just outside of the apartment where I felt that sharp pain in my back and just above whatever is residing in the basement. Let me know if you guys see the similarities between these two faces, but that mouth is a very unique mouth and they both have the exact same nose and mouth. That is the the paranormal That's happenings it. of the Beck house and our time here. But yeah, in apartment 301, there is still time for things to go down. Yes. <laughs> I just heard creaking like someone just walked in from the hallway. I heard a creak as well. I heard it at first like far back there and I didn't say anything, but it got closer, like towards in front of the fridge. Can you see anything? No. Well, the bathroom door's open. I left it open. Okay. So maybe someone's standing on the other side of the door and I just can't see it. Sorry, was that bad to say? People have been saying that she is known to move. I was treated bad. Oh. Is it this doll? <laughs> right? It has only one set of eyelashes and doesn't sit properly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe it is. The doll was treated badly. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the doll that's on the table here? <laughs> does it does this doll ever move on its own? Or do spirits move the doll? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. okay. 